Hey, 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 how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Fine Mushi, and I'm a vocal coach slash voice teacher. And today I'm going to be reacting and analyzing to Dimash Kudai Bergen, uh, Escola, Escolta, La Voce. Um, so um, this one actually came out a few weeks ago, so I'm actually super duper excited to react and analyze this video. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. So this is a fan-made video. A fan recorded this. Oh, they have English subtitles. Really good. Ooh. So that that you that's like a very soft chest voice, right? It almost sounds like a falsetto. That, that D there, that gives it a different feeling. Like, like that's what gives that really interesting vibe to the song. Just that one note. Nice. So that's head voice actually. That B flat four was a head voice too. Very nice. Very soft. Like you saying, like you can do that. Like there are just so many dynamics like he has in his voice it's like it's very hard to know whether he's in a chest voice or big voice or head voice so it doesn't really matter i mean all that matters is like if you can pick a note you start soft and then if you can get super loud without any <laughs> that thing happening then you know you have full control over that note note or that yeah full control over that note pretty much and that's what we call mesa di voce basically crescendo diminuendo getting louder getting softer without any cracks or breaks and that's what he can do throughout his range so his technique is very spot on nice beautiful That's beautiful. That's really nice. Now he's adding. So up until this point, he he was actually staying in a very soft chest voice, soft mixed voice, whatever you want to call it. So basically, very low volume kind of coordination, and even falsetto at certain points. And now he's adding more compression more chord closure, more volume to the sound because now the song is building up. So we are almost at three minutes mark right now. Now he's gonna add more power to his voice. Nice, nice. That's a very nice thing. I hear that in some sort of, uh... oh wow, what? Light mix. That was a C5 at the top, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that's really impressive. Right now, he is more in a speech-like mixed voice quality. It's not super loud, it's not super quiet either. It's like right in that middle. And the key of the song is also shifting, right? The shifting. D sharp 5 at the top. That's beautiful skating right there. song actually I like it is that it yeah great job great job So um, let me go ahead and wrap this video up and then I'll give you guys my analysis and some thoughts. Okay guys, so, so um, Dimash here um, pretty much sings like, you know, perfect, <laughs> right? And um, so what he was doing essentially is he was in a very sort of soft kind of, uh, soft kind of a place, like soft chess voice, even falsetto and some light pianists were like, this kind of sound. See, it almost wants to disconnect, right? Um, so he was in, in there. And also this, hey, this kind of breathy kind of mixed voice coordination, right? Hey, and then he was kind of maintaining that in the lower pitch, right? So after, so he was pretty much doing that up to like three minutes of the song. And then that's when he started adding a little bit more compression. He uh, changed the way he was singing. He added more vocal cord compression or vocal cord closure. He got a little bit louder. He went up into the stratosphere per se and then started singing in that mid, mid high range of his voice, which he does really, really well. Um, yeah, and then around the end, he pretty much sort of kept that consistency in terms of the tone and range and whatnot. He didn't go super crazy high in this performance, which is totally fine because we all, we all know what Dimash can do with this voice and his technique is just so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my burps are killing me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, Dimash, he's a beast. I like him so much, and I really don't want to analyze any more than what I just did, so I'll just leave it here. So, there you go, guys. That's my vocal reaction and vocal analysis of Dimash Kudaibiar again. Escolta la voce. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis and hopefully you guys learned something from this video Because if you did then please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell For more Dimash or you know more reaction and analysis videos in general um, Feel free to uh, leave some comments about you know what I can do to improve my contents 
And if you guys have any song suggestions, then please leave them in the comment section. I would love to get back to you and do your you know, reaction requests. Um, so I also have a Facebook page and an Instagram account where I try to share my own personal singing videos and also me coaching other people out there and helping them with their singing and whatnot. So I would really, really appreciate if you can go and check out my Facebook page and give it a thumbs up and go to my Instagram page and give it, give it a follow. I would really appreciate the support. Um, last but not least, but if you guys are interested for voice lessons or you want me to critique your singing or if you guys have any questions about your own vocal technique, then you can either email me at freelance one at gmail.com or you can directly go and book a lesson with me on Fiverr if you want to do lessons with me. Um, they're both in the description uh, section, my email and my Fiverr link. So, um, yep, that's pretty much it for this video. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.